Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we're doing a new Let's Play on our channel and we're doing a Let's Play of Democracy. Democracy is a really, really niche, really, really good political simulator. So you basically take control of a country and you're able to change their political, you know, decisions like taxes and social policies and, you know, police spending and all these things so it's a really really deep really, really interesting game and it's actually not as difficult as you may think at first so I'll begin by you know talking a little bit about how do you play it and then we'll going we'll, then we'll be going through a, a few turns and then we'll end up uh, you know hopefully with a good result so we we'll start a new game and I'm going to be picking the United States of America now I do not personally live in the United States of America but I think it's a really really interesting country and also in this game they have a unique mechanic where the Senate and the House of Representatives plays a big role in terms of what policies you can enact and in terms of how effectively you'll be at enacting those policies so I think that's a really really interesting mechanic in terms of the United States and you know I also like you know politics in the United States I think it's really really interesting and I think it's a lot more exciting than European politics so that's the country that we're going to be picking Congratulations. You have... all right so I'll start off by telling you how to play it now it might look like a total mess and it might look like it's super confusing and super complicated but it's not I'm going to be taking you through it so at the top you have your stats or basically situation reports on what's happening in terms of different things so you have for example how high is the crime rate what's poverty like you know all these different things so you get a a nice view of what it is that's happening in terms of different things now you can see it you know if whether it's good or bad or by the coloring and how big the bar is but if you click on it you can get a description and see you know the exact you know how it has evolved over time and whatnot so that's basically you know situations and what's happening then here in the middle we have the different voter demographics now I think there's probably every demographic you could think of and then if you hover over them you can see what is affecting that demographic both positively, positively and negatively. So with socialists they do not like me. I can see that because the bar is red and the bar is not you know, filled up that high. So they do not like me. Also there's this gray area and this area shows how big of a percentage of the population and that identifies themselves as socialists for example so this is really really good to show you how many people is in a specific demographic and what do they think of you and if you click on it you can get a full detail you know how many are they what are they what do they like what do they not like so this is a really good way to you know get an overview and and it's, it's really you know intuitive when you first learn how to use it then we have all these circles the blue ones are policies and you can change to those and the exclamation points are situations either good or bad and um, so for example this is cheap imports which is obviously a bad situation but you also have things like the technological advantage which is obviously a good thing so these are basically unique special situations going on right now now if it's a bad thing you can see here you can click there and see they suggest a policy in terms of how you fix that issue and lastly, if you hover over a policy, you will see what bad stuff is happening to it and what good stuff is, is happening to it. And what is that policy doing? So you can see here with state pensions. It's fighting against poverty. It's making capitalists angry, but it's making the poor and the retired really, really satisfied. So you easily get an, a good overview of what's happening and what is the policy doing. So that is how to play the game. I hope I explained it well enough. So how am I going to be playing this? Well, I think I'll just in this playthrough go off of what I think and what I believe. And I, I have not really planned a specific agenda we'll be running with this game. We may do that in other games uh, later on. But in this playthrough I'm just going to be playing as I would. So. Let's start off by identifying the issues in our country. The biggest issue is down here. 
this is our income, this is our expenditure, this is our debt. We have a deficit of over 1 billion. We have a deficit of about 1 billion. That is hugely a, a gigantic problem. We need to fix that because our country will go bankrupt if we do not fix it. So, we can see here the red line is obviously the expenditure, the green one is income, and the blue one is the debt. So how do we fix it? We can either increase taxes or we can cut spending. Now, I do not really like the idea of raising taxes too, too much because it will make people angry and, you know, it's bad for different things. Like, for example, the corporation tax will really crush your businesses if you raise it too high and they'll just move out of the country. So, I think we should be sensible about this. What can we cut? I think bus lanes is not that important. I think we can cut bus lanes. I think we can do it. So we'll cut bus lanes. I also think we can cut religious spending on faith schools. You know, the spending, the government spends money to fund these religious schools. And I do not believe in that. I think that's a bad idea. So it's good because I do not believe in it, but it's also good because you know, we save a decent amount of money. And basically, we can only do two things per turn because, well, later on we can maybe do three or four if we're getting really popular, but right now we're not polling too well, we're not, you know, a really, really po popular president, so uh, we can only do th two things per turn. But that was what we were doing the first turn, and then let's move on to the second turn here. And the start of each turn, you get a quarterly report. So you basically get a report on what's been happening since you last left off. So the government's income has been increased by over 100 billion. That is obviously great. Now, we cut spending, and you can also see that the expenditure of the government has fallen by about 50 billion. So we have really done a lot. We've about 170 billion improved so the deficit has decreased by about 170 billion so that's obviously great now what we're going to do next we still have a deficit I want to fix the deficit first and then we'll move on to you know help people so I think we can probably cut prisoner tacking I do not believe in the concept of prisoner tacking I think it's a bad thing and it also costs a decent amount of money I guess so if we can cut it and I believe that's a good idea now what more can we do I think we could probably increase the tax on cars I know I probably wouldn't do that in real life but I can see positive effects to doing it because right now we're in a gridlock and if we increase the car tax there's a chance that people will begin to use uh, you know bus buses or the train or s something different so that's what we're going to do, we're going to increase the car tax. And then in the end of every turn, there is a political dilemma, so you have to make a decision. So we have to appoint a bad ambassador. So basically, a person is retired, we need to h hire a new one, which one do we pick? So there's the patriot and there's the liberal. Now I think internationally, we probably need somebody who is good at making deals, and I think probably that would be the right choice you can always disagree I'm not really strongly to either either side but I'm going to pick Donald Taylor because I think he'll be the best so but that was probably what I would do for this episode so thank you for watching I hope you understood what's going on we'll continue this on very shortly hope you enjoyed thank you for watching take care